Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at one more from our AMC 10 counting series. So uh, let's see what we have. How many positive integers not exceeding 2001 are multiples of 3 or 4, but not of 5? Now, the published solution for this involves the inclusion-exclusion principle for counting sets. And it's a bit complicated and error-prone, in my opinion. And I'll include a link to that solution in the description section. But uh, I tend to do these types of problems using a block counting method that is really handy. So uh, I'll go ahead and do it that way. So let's take a look at part of the problem and see if we can count numbers that are multiples of 3 or 4. And since the greatest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12, we can basically look at a block of numbers from 1 to 12 to sort of get that started. So let's take a look at the numbers from uh, 1 through uh, 12. And looking at the numbers that are multiples of 3 or 4, we can circle those. 3 is these 3, and then multiples of 4, we have to count those as well. So it looks like we have 6 numbers out of a block of 12. And again, because 3 and 4, the greatest uh, common multiple is 12, we notice that this pattern will just repeat if we look at the uh, next block of 12 numbers. So let's just do that just to... Uh, show how that works. So if we look for multiples of 3, we have uh, 15, 18, 21, and 24. And if we add the multiples of 4, we add 16, and we have to add 20. So you can see basically, again, we have six numbers, again, out of a block of 12. So it's not hard to imagine how this pattern will just keep repeating. So out of 12 numbers, it looks like for this part of the problem, we have uh, 6 out of 12. And if we were to expand this to a block of 60, sort of anticipating the greatest common multiple of 3, 4, and 5, we would have uh, 30 out of 60 numbers satisfying the 3 or 4 condition. So now comes the problem of trying to eliminate the numbers that are multiples of 5. So if we look at this block of 60 numbers now, we would have to eliminate uh, the number 15. Uh, the next number to eliminate would be uh, 20. And then uh, 30 would have to be eliminated. 40 and 45 and lastly 60. So it looks like we have uh, six numbers here that we would have to eliminate out of a block of 60. And that would reduce this 30 out of 60 numbers to 24 out of 60 numbers that are 3 or 4, but not 5. And that's the key here. So for every block of 60 numbers, we'll have 24 numbers which satisfy all of these conditions. So now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how many blocks of 60 numbers are there in 2001. And we can do that with a simple division. So 2001 divide by 60. So we have 180. Uh, 201, uh, 180 again, 21. So essentially we have 33 blocks of 60 with a remainder of 21. And so if we uh, multiply 33 times the 24, we have uh, 72, 72, 792 for those blocks of 60. So already we can tell that the answer is probably B because uh, we have counted 792 out of the complete blocks of 60, we still have to add the kind of stragglers in our remaining set of 21 remainders. But already we can see we're very close to 801, and that's probably the right answer. But uh, let's go ahead and do the complete count and look at how many numbers satisfied this uh, remainder set of 21. So we have to go back to our original list here and count up to 21 and go ahead and eliminate those that are multiples of 5, 15, and 21. And what's left from this remainder set is then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So adding 9 to this count, we get uh, 8 of 1 for their final count. And that, in fact, is choice B. Again, a pretty simple uh, problem if you kind of look at it with block counting. It's a bit co more complicated, I think, if you look at it with uh, inclusion and exclusion. But again, you can go ahead and look at the description section for a link to that solution. So hope that was clear, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.